In March 2023, a group of 35 Great Plains United Methodists traveled to McAllen, Texas to visit our U.S.-Mexico border for the first ever Great Plains Justice Encounter. We went because the Holy Spirit nudged us to encounter our immigrant neighbors. We went to listen and learn from local leaders, pastors, lawyers, border agents, and migrants. With each story told, the reality of life on the border became more and more human. Manos juntas means hands together. Our first meeting was with border agents who work for U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Border agents are tasked with enforcing our current and complex immigration laws. We had this picture of the border patrol people, brutalizing people, and all this that we hear from media. But see them talk to us, explain to us, was really an eye-opener to see the other side of the story. On the trip, we spent our time listening to migrants and those who work directly with them. We found that many cross the border with nothing and are in dire need of basic necessities such as food, water, and shelter. We visited La Posada Providencia, a shelter which provides not only housing, but community and care for those who have just arrived. To put it really basic, we welcome the stranger. You know, we have people coming uh, from all over the world, from different circumstances, different home situations, different religions, different backgrounds. And so really it's just to welcome them and to love on them and uh, to make them feel as, you know, this is their home and we are their family. We felt this warm welcome ourselves, both at La Posada and then again at the Catholic Charities Humanitarian Respite Center. The Respite Center is a safe place for those who have passed through immigration and are in transit to destinations throughout the U.S. We spoke and prayed with many pregnant women and mothers caring for their newborns, and the voices of children filled the air as we listened to Sister Norma Pimentel. Sister Norma has worked for years on the front lines with migrants and has been an advocate for humane policies, both locally and nationally. The call to action is that this is urgent. There's so many human lives that is suffering and in danger and, and, and really traumatized because of the abuses that they're exposed to and, and the fact that they don't know if they have a chance to enter the United States. and, and so. There's a great urgency to do the right thing, to get our elected leaders to, to pass policies that respect life and at the same time establish a, 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 a immigration reform that, that responds to the reality of today. We don't have that. And that's the urgency and, and it's up to us as, as US, the United States to create something that the world can see that we care about humanity, but and we also want to make sure we establish a safe process and way to exist in this country. On our final day, we crossed into Mexico at the Nuevo Progreso Bridge and were surprised that we didn't see any lines or crowds of people waiting to come into the U.S. Willie Berman, director of Manos Juntas, or Hands Together, shared with us that mission teams regularly visit to support the community's vision and projects such as the Children's Home, Clinic, and Community Center. Children is very important, are very important for us, and uh, that's why we are focusing on projects that will make them grow, thinking that we are all one community. We always work together. During our final meeting back in Texas, we heard stories from Arise Adelante, a grassroots organization led by immigrant women. The women of Arise go into Las Colonias, or their low-income neighborhoods, to build relationships and to listen. Then, they organize programs to address issues like education and health, and press for solutions in the public arena. Women like Maria and Lourdes spoke directly to us about the perceptions we may have of those who live at our southern border. Este, 
pues pasándola bien. A, a, a huge community, it's a huge family, it's a, a, a community of faith, a community of culture, a community of celebration. Uh, we are a community that are hospitable, that um, really we believe that mi casa es su casa and our traditions are very, um, um, are very de familia, about family. It's really about building community and it's really about welcoming um, everyone that wants to come and be here, part of the Rio Grande Valley. As our trip came to an end, our team gathered to pray at a place that, to the world, symbolizes exclusion and division. It was there that the Holy Spirit prompted us to proclaim good news, both with chalk and out loud. This will put a wrong message to the world, either both sides of the border, I believe, and we, United Methodist Church, we do believe grace of God reaches out to all, including everyone. God's grace is for all no matter which side of the border they are. We're here at the wall to witness to our faith in a God of love, a God who cares for all people. And I know the United Methodists believe this, and I have so much hope for our annual conference that we will become a more and more loving place, but we have to know the hard things that are happening with our neighbors. This wall is not me and does not represent me. And I really honestly believe that this wall does not represent any of you. And so what I offer to you today is a sense of hope, understanding that we have the power as the body of Christ to make sure that we are being the witness in the world that we've called to be. We gathered here at the wall today um, because we have a message for all of you in the Great Plains Conference. And that message that we bring to you today from the wall is that we know as people of God, as people of faith, we know that God's love has no borders. God's love has no borders. God's love has no borders. God's love as we traveled back to Kansas and Nebraska, we left with a sense of conviction, knowing that our faith calls us to love our migrant siblings, both at our border and here at home. This love looks like conversations, relationships, sermons, studies, advocacy, and policy change. This love looks like action, both big and small, so that we might build beloved community where God's love has no borders. We will walk with each other.